I love the phrase, if content is king, then conversation is queen. And I use this all the time in conversations around content marketing and what it can do to build public trust. You see, you have to start a conversation online, otherwise you're merely a broadcaster. And if you think about the content marketing funnel and the journey that your citizens are taking online to find the information that they want, they will be drawn to the type of content that allows them to have their say. So I would suggest and maybe even say, dare you to be a little bit more brave online. Don't hide behind your content. Go front and center. Consider going live a little bit more. What about a weekly Q&A session? How about even doing a poll and using the feedback that you get from your audience to then create content and be very explicit in explaining that. So you want to show up online in two ways when it comes to your content and to make sure that you get meaningful conversation. Number one, you want to be seen as authoritative so that you are the single source of truth. And no matter what else is spreading online, that you have the information that the public need. Secondly, you want to think about seeking out and tuning into the public's opinion and feedback. Because it is in that feedback that you are going to get a really rich analysis of how the public are feeling. You're going to get that sentiment. But you're also going to identify gaps in your communications by virtue of the public seeing it. And when you've mastered that art of being able to have a two-way conversation and taking that feedback, then it's just like a content loop. So you actually then feed that content in to your digital marketing process from your blog, your video, social, through email marketing, and through PPC campaigns. And then it becomes really powerful.